Hey you guys, welcome to part two of the Mindful Awareness series. This is going to be the Sense Channel series and this is when we're going to start getting into sort of like the actual technique and how we're going to use these Sense Channels to increase our concentration, clarity, and equanimity. Now before we start, I want to give credit to Shinzen Young again for developing this system and the amazing work that he's done. So, to get into it, there's three sense channels that dominate our experience and are actually the only thing that we experience. Now, we're not gonna be including smell or taste because they're just so minute compared to these three. Um, so the, I, the biggest thing about these three channels is that there's an internal level to all three and then there's an external and that's it. That's all there is. So for C, that means external sight. That means anything that you can see with your eyes, objects. Your, your whole visual field as one thing and even the darkness with your eyes closed. For the um, external with here, these are actually backwards, these in and outs. But for the here, outer is going to be external sounds. So anything that you can hear, noises, silence, cars, bumps, my voice talking to you. For feel, it's going to be physical sensations. The feeling of your butt against your chair right now. The feeling of the breath coming in and out of your body. The feeling of the wind against your skin. So that's the external for those three. Now for the internal. For C, is mental images. Anything that you can picture with your mind is going to be the internal version of C. For here, it's going to be mental chatter. That's going to be the voice in your head and how it's constantly going. And then for feel, is going to be your emotional body, your internal feelings, your internal feelings in, in your internal world. So, what you'll notice is that the present moment is only ever these six things. That's it. Reality is experienced through these. Nothing that has ever happened to you or ever will happen to you won't come in the form of one of these. And that's just what's so crazy when you realize this is because the quality of your life is directly correlated to how aware you are of each of these. And if you'll remember concentration, clarity, and equanimity, you're gonna start to see that what can you do with these six things or these three sense channels? Well, you can concentrate on any of these six. So you can, what we're going to get into with the techniques is you can sit down and you can concentrate on physical sensations or you can concentrate on mental images or you can concentrate on external sounds. And if you remember clarity from the first video, what happens when you get good at getting clear on each of these? You start to be able to tell the clarity between them all you can you can see oh there's the mental chatter oh i'm seeing this object oh i'm feeling this emotion you start to have very very good clarity on all of these and then if you'll remember the last um uh i can't remember what i titled it or what it's the the last uh skill is equanimity and you'll start to see that when you're able to concentrate on all of these, when you're able to get clear about all of these, you're gonna have this equanimity kind of appear out of nowhere because all of these 
all of the sudden are in front of you. You're not wrapped up in them, getting all tangled and twisted because you're being pulled by sounds and mental images and mental chatter and external sight. You'll be able to clearly see, oh, it's this, oh, it's that. And this equanimity is going to start to arise once we start practicing with these sense channels, once we start um, getting clear on what we're experiencing, and once we're able to concentrate on these sense channels. So this is going to be a quicker video, but I hope that makes sense. And if there's anything that you can take away from this, I guess that it'll just be that this is literally all that reality is to you. That's it. You can't name anything at all ever that doesn't happen in any one of these six categories or any one of these three channels. So that's going to wrap up the three sense channels videos. This is part two and make sure to look out for part three where we're going to get into noting and labeling and how the technique actually works. And then the fourth video is going to be the different techniques that you can use. But I think if you watch the first video and you watch this video, you can start to see like, oh, I can see where this is going. I can see how I can concentrate on any of these. I can start getting clear on what's happening and I can realize that equanimity is possible when I realize what's going on with all of these sense channels. So I hope you liked the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like and hit that subscribe button for me. I want to give credit for Shinzen Young again. Amazing, amazing work here. And check out my Instagram and my clothing company. Links are in the bio. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.